Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to Redesign 16. So this is where I post about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle every single week. Before we get started on this really pretty eyeshadow, shadow sense uh, look, please hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, so I wanted to do an eyeshadow, shadow sense look. It's really simple and easy. To do I did this after I did um, my first impression of the deep uh, translucent powder that I did a video on if you haven't seen go check it out after this that stuff is amazing I haven't even used it on my face but I wanted to do a very simple like pretty eyeshadow. Um, if you've never heard about Shadow Sense, Shadow Sense comes in this little tube. Um, it is a cream to powder. You have 60 to 90 seconds before it sets into place. So you want to make sure you have it where you want it. Um, once it's dry, it is smudge proof, uh, smudge proof, crease proof, waterproof, anti aging. Had skincare in it, label buildable, and it will not budge. Like, we have mattes, we have shimmers, we have uh, glitters, and once they're applied, it doesn't come off until you take it off. So, a lot of like other uh, eyeshadow products have fallout, or they used to. I don't know about now, but once I tried Shadow Sense, I was amazed because I used to wear regular eyeshadow and I would always have fallout. So you always want to start out with a base. If you're light uh, skin tone, um, you want to use Sandstone Pearl without the shimmer or you can use candlelight. That's what I use on my eyes. Candlelight is a peachy undertone that cancels out any uh, redness, any discoloration, any veins, any blues. You can also use it for your concealer, and that's what I did. I actually used all three of these today. So I used a highlight underneath my eye. Um, you can do that and it was a contour dual thing. I think it's still, I believe that the deep shade is not sold out. Um, I will put a link down below so that you can shop this look or any shadow scents you would like. Um, one of these tubes will last you around eight months, but if you're using it every day like candlelight, like I do, they last four to six months. And once you are dry to the bone, like this one, there's actually a stopper that you take with tweezers and you pull out and you get 20 more percent of product. All of our makeup, skincare is cruelty free, vegan free, made in the US, doesn't have any animal products in it. Um, it is amazing. So, I started out with candlelight. I just kind of made this look as I went. And I'm using a color that I got a while back. It's new to me. I don't know the name of it, but it, it was really pretty when I put it over top. It is a shimmer. Um, I'll put it down in the description box. Plus, I will put my link down so that you could shop this look or any look. Once you click on that link, it's going to take you to a second page where it says my distributor's name. That is totally fine at the top. Scroll down to shop now. Um, you click shop now. Then it comes on the third page. It comes up with all these bubbles. And um, you want to click on eyes because that's where Shadow Sense is. Then you add what you want to the cart. Then when you go to the checkout page, 
right before you check out, there's a little box uh, you click to get a discount. You get 10% off all your purchases all year round. So if you don't click that um, box, you don't get the discount. And I don't get credit, so I can't bring things to you. So um, let's say Synergens is having a sale on Shadow Sense for 15% off. By you using my link and signing up, clicking that box, you get an extra 10% off. So that's a total of 25% off, which is an amazing deal. You get, um, you get perks with having signing up. It's ten dollars for the month of July to sign up. So you, if you spend a hundred dollars plus the ten dollars to sign up, you get free shipping, samples, and your products. If you spend one hundred fifty, you get a gift, your products. Um, your products and samples. So it's a win-win because you get the best makeup, skincare, hair care. It's no joke. I would not be on here going, oh, this is so cool makeup. Like, I love it. No, I actually do. And it actually helps my skin as I'm wearing it. That's mind-blowing to me. So enough talk but if you want to sign up and that, that discount is only for people that live in the u.s if you still want to buy i can still help you out if you live in canada or um uk or anywhere else i can help you with that just send me a direct message on my Instagram account at redesign16 and say, hey, I want to know about the discount or I want to be color matched if you want that. Um, but yeah, I can totally help you with that. There's a link in my YouTube um, about page um, for my Instagram. So follow me there. Uh, please keep your messages and your comments kind please so here I go so I already have candlelight and all that as my base then I'm gonna go in with an oldie but goodie um this is candy cocoa shimmer and I'm going to put it all over my eye just like that if you're a beginner I would just start with one eye I wouldn't do both eyes um, because you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it. And if you, once it's patted in and you think that it's too light, you can go back in and add more until your heart is content. It just depends on what your preference is. So, even though you have 60 to 90 seconds, I wait a little bit uh, to go in and pat it in. And yes, I pat it in, but you can swipe it too. But I would not suggest that you swipe it if you're using multiple colors because that's with any eyeshadow. If you swipe it, it's going to blend all together like I said it's all about your preference so if you want them all to blend together that's up to you but patting them in if you're using multiple colors pat them in I pat them in either way that's how I learned about it that's how I like it that's my preference so I'm gonna take a more fluffy brush and just lightly pat it out this candy cocoa shimmer is a must like it is a staple just like mocha java 
without the shimmer or the glitter is a must. The candy cocoa was actually one of my first shadow senses I ever got with natural tan. And they're both in the permanent line. So, I got those two. I tried them out. I think I did a video a long time ago when I first tried it out. And I was amazed. I was hooked. Um, yeah. So the next color is, I could add more, but I don't really want to. So I'm going to go in with Mocha Java Shimmer and add it all over my eye. Sometimes I pat them in, but if I'm towards the end, I don't. But it's just your preference. Okay, I'm not going to pat it in. I'm actually going to go in with, I just had, oh, I just got it out. So this is our Eye Sense Eyeliner Pencil. It is smudge proof and waterproof. This is the best eyeliner I have ever used. So we do have liquid eyeliner, which I've tried, but like I said, it's your preference. But I like this one because it twists up and twists down, and it is amazing. So we have black, we have black brown, we have brown, we have gold, purple, navy, green, rose gold. I do have the rose gold somewhere, but I cannot find it. So I do need to like clean out my old makeup and just kind of get organized. So I'm just putting this on the bottom lash line. And yes, I like to add a little bit more and that's it's just all about what you what you like and your preference so okay then i'm gonna go just slightly on the upper one and then going to take it out a little bit to make sure. See how it like widened my eye? Let's see if I can do it on the probably going to look like I have raccoon eyes but let's try it. I did it one day. I don't know if I did it on camera or not, but I was amazed. So I am going to tight line okay. Hopefully. This turns out because I have places to be today. So, but practice makes perfect, right? Oh boy. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think I can cover it up. Maybe I should like research, practice a little bit more. Cause you can take a little brush like this. I'm just gonna 
go in like that. This was supposed to be an eyeshadow. It still is, but I don't know. It makes my eyes look bigger. I actually kind of like it. So I'm going to take that same Mocha Java Shimmer and go over what I did. I'm clearly go going up by my brow bone. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to pat it in or not. Maybe. I don't know. That I think this one starts with a P. I don't know if you can still buy it or not. Um, I'll have to ask my friend who I got it from um yeah so and I'll put it down in the description box so if you guys not have seen my short videos I've been doing a lot of them so they're kind of like reels but they're called shorts on uh YouTube and I've done a ton of them so please go check them out I only like have 30,000 more to get to 300,000 views, which it's not about the views, but I never thought in like doing makeup the last four years of my life would change. I didn't think four years ago my life would change because my mom passed away. And this is what has helped me a lot through the process because I started I started the page like five six years ago but I didn't it didn't really I didn't really start doing makeup till the same week my mom passed away which was crazy and I never thought in a million years I would be okay and be where I'm at today. So everyone has a story. All it takes is for someone to listen. So, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to pat it in. I might. I'm going to use, I'm lightly just patting it. You don't have to, but now I'm going to go in with sands and pearl shimmer and put it all over my eye then i w when i did this on ca off camera yesterday i was just gonna leave it like this and i was like oh that's really pretty then out of the blue, I picked this up and I used it. Okay, so this is what I did. It's like a silver one. And I just put it all over the eye. And then just, I don't know if you can tell, but it just made it more pretty like elegant normally if it's sold out which i don't know if it's sold out i wouldn't show you guys so i'm going back in with that stands on pearl and just adding to the lower lash line now i'm not going to um press it down I'm just going to leave it like it is. Okay, there's one more step. Probably like the outer corner looks weird. And trust me, it does look weird. Um, so, I'm 
I'm going to use French roast, which is in the permanent line. It's like a brownish purple. I'm putting it right on the outer corner. And yes, I probably got way too much, but yesterday this look turned out amazing. I don't know if it's gonna, but it probably will. So for my blush, I am going to use Bella Shimmer Shadow Scents. Actually, I'm gonna use Pink Berry. This is the old packaging. Um, Actually, put some right. A little bit goes a long ways. They come in airless pumps, like smaller than this, and they are amazing. Oh, I got a little too much. So, I'm gonna put Bella Shimmer over it and see what happens here. Um. Okay, so we're gonna take that same brush, just lightly go in and see how pretty that is? Now, if you think that you got too much, one thing about this shadow sense is it is very blendable. So it's very, very easy to work with. Now I'm going to use a different brush. Okay. And just kind of go like that and go like this. See, like I probably added too much blush, but I'm going to fix that. So here is what the eye look, look looks like. <laughs> the eye look looks like, I can't even talk right, that is a mouthful. So I'm gonna go back in with that silver one, lightly just go over it. And then I'm going to go in with and a pearl. These, as you can tell, these are very layable. So I'm already at 22 minutes. I knew this video would be a lot longer um, to show you the process. So I'm going to do my lash primer and my mascara off camera and come back with the end result for you guys. So I'm back with the end result of this pretty eyeshadow shadow sense look. And this is how it turned out. Yes, you could add a pop of snow shadow sense to the corner, uh, inner corner right here to make it more brighter or candlelight or another shimmer to really make it pop. But a lot of times I just leave it like this. I'm so glad. I showed this on camera. Yes, it did turn out a little bit different than yesterday, but today is a new day. So yeah, I'm really happy with the end result. And I topped it off with uh, a new lip sense to me, but it's an oldie but goodie. It's called Giddy Up. So it's like a purple, purple lip sense. So, Please like this video and please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell before you leave so that you will be notified every time I post a video or a short video. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching. I'll give you a little look real quick. There we go. Thanks for watching.